Welcome back. Uh, well, for the Nifty, we're just about holding and consolidating with a positive buy. So, good time to concentrate on some companies then. We have Mr. Ashok Haldia, the MD and CEO of PTC India Financial Services, who joins in on the phone line to discuss the latest development by the company. Mr. Haldia, thank you very much uh, for joining in. Can you just take us through this MOU that you've signed with India Infra Finance Company? What does it mean in terms of uh, the projects you're going to finance and when does it take off? Uh, this uh, memorandum of understanding uh, between the IFCL and the PFS is, uh, s uh, seeks to uh, explore the synergies between IFCL and, and PFS and also a strategy to work together for the benefit of the projects in the infrastructure and particularly in the energy value chain. Uh, you know, IFCL is a is a very big institution, mm. and most leading into the infrastructure financing. Mm. And the PFS has positioned itself as a leading institution in financing private power projects, particularly in the renewable uh, space. And uh, we have also taken a decision that uh, we would also finance uh, infrastructure projects which are related to the energy value chain. So we continue to maintain our domain expertise and use that domain expertise uh, in financing uh, the project in the related infrastructure value chain. For example, okay. MDO, for example, railway connectivity between the mines and the projects, ports handling fuels, so and so forth. But how are you a project expert in rails and ports? No, no, I'm not saying we are expert in the rails. Oh. What I'm trying to say, we are already doing projects uh, of the rail connectivity which connects the coal mine from the power to the power projects. Okay. So these kind of projects, when it comes to us, uh, we would be in a, a position to uh, increasingly finance them. Mm. And secondly is that the IFCL has a credit enhancement scheme. Mm. Uh, we have also, uh, our board has also introduced a credit enhancement scheme. We will join IFCL mm -hmm. in extending credit enhancements either together with them or as a backstop arrangement. Mm -hmm. uh, have you already project. identified anybody, Mr. Haldia? Uh, we are in the process of uh, doing some projects. At the moment, only one has been signed, right? Uh, uh, the uh, one in solar project, I think, with Renew, that IIFC. Uh, right, right. But but uh, they are under consideration of a couple of, more than a couple of mm. other projects. You know, your uh, big worry uh, after your second quarter numbers were that the gross NPLs went up rather sharply uh, by about 200 crores. Uh, uh, how is the situation now? Should we uh, brace ourselves in the third quarter also for a fresh increase in slippages? No, on that occasion I had explained the reasons that there are no new uh, uh, stress accounts. Mm. These were the accounts that we have been talking for quite some time. Mm. And uh, as a matter of prudence, uh, uh, in, in, in uh, at least one or two of them, we thought that uh, beyond the regulatory norms, uh, we should uh, make some provisions. Okay. That we had already explained at that point of time. And we are constantly under review, and I will not be able to say what happens uh, the, in, as, a, as a futuristic statement. But I believe we are. No, I, I mean, could, perfectly I mean, we understand. Are, we, I mean, no, we are under the control of the situation. I would only say that. Okay. Yes, yes, we understand that your provisioning went up because of potential yes. reasons. No, no, but that. But that's Mark, what I explained. NPLs also went up, isn't it? That's what I also explained. <coughs> that uh, the we uh, we uh, provided for for the stress assets for the NPH much more and much beyond what the negativity norms would require us. That was the one of reason of that that amount going up. Okay. And these were the uh, these were no new accounts that we provided for. <coughs> okay, fair enough. That point is taken, Mr. Haldia. Leave us with some guidance then. Do you think Q3 will see worsening of gross <coughs> NPLs? Will it be worse than the 4.07%, better or same? No, as I said, uh, we are in the control of the situations and constantly monitoring our entire entire portfolio. So it should be maybe similar? Uh, I would be difficult for me to make Are you, uh, do you Do you lend to the discounts? Uh, no, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we have to one particular very small amount, okay. but uh, we are trying to position ourselves seeing the opportunity into the transmission and distribution sector in the mm. private mm. arena. We are trying to position ourselves to finance transmission and distribution projects. What percentage of your money goes to uh, renewable energy? 
and what is the goal say by uh, a, a end of the current financial year end of fy17 uh, renewable constitutes about 50% of our total Five zero. yes mm -hmm. 50% of our total sanctions and we have not uh, of course as a part of our risk management practices we have given some numbers but the idea is that good projects and the good <coughs> promoter uh, would certainly be one that we would be uh, we would be financing so the 50% is our uh, current share of the portfolio oh all right we leave it at that mr haldia thank you very much uh, for joining us and My we hope we will touch base with you when you do the first of your credit enhancement uh, projects uh, we will have to take a break on that note but we have a very interesting note for you so uh, uh, before you take that break here's a chance for you to be part of uh, india's biggest